There are many classifications for types of angles and the different relationships that angles have with each other. One such relationship is adjacency. The word adjacent means next to, so it makes sense that two angles are considered adjacent if they are next to each other. Here we see that angle COB is next to angle BOA, making them adjacent. Formally, two requirements must be met for two angles to be considered adjacent. First, the angles must share the same vertex or corner point. Here, O is that shared vertex. Second, the two angles must share one common side that lies between them. In this case, that common side is the ray from O to B. Angles that overlap cannot be adjacent. For example, angles A and B shown here are not adjacent because they overlap. Let's take a look at some more angles. In this diagram, which pairs of angles are adjacent? Starting from the left, we can see that angles 1 and 2 share a common vertex and a common side. For this reason, they are adjacent. The pair of angles 2 and 3 also share a common vertex and a common side, making them adjacent as well. But what about angles 1 and 3? While these angles still share a common vertex, they have no side in common, so they are not adjacent. Let's now consider angle 4. Is it adjacent to any of the other angles? While it does share a common side with angle 3, they do not have the same vertex. For this reason, angles 3 and 4 are not adjacent. Angle 4 is also not adjacent to angles 1 and 2 because it has neither a common vertex nor a common side between them. Being able to identify adjacent angles by their common vertex and common side will come in handy in future lessons when looking for complementary angles, which are angles that add up to 90 degrees, and for supplementary angles, which are angles adding up to 180 degrees. I hope that this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and happy studying.